What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off, well what happened last time, he spent just multiple turns fighting against the Prussians and it looks like that's set to continue. Um, but it looks like we are eventually starting to pop the Prussian bubble. Uh, their forces are now, well, will, will imminently be completely cut off and able to be picked apart by our forces. And you need cannon. Sir. So these stacks will eventually become increasingly unable to be supported. We've, drew, we've driven up through the Balkans and we've got to put ourselves into a strong position. Uh, we're going to be driving, well, just driving straight at them. So once this army is uh, replenished and recruited a couple more units, they're going to drive up and hit Prague. Yes, sir. This army's job will be to drive up and lay siege March. to Munich. Uh, Berlin, once they recruit a Berlin garrison, uh, they will drive south and hit Dresden. Because this is just a fra fra unit, a fragment. This is a fragment. So this army will be free to hit Dresden. So, you know, Prussia's not, Prussia is not long for this world, guys. That's the upshot of it. So let's hit and turn. So I think if we end up not getting into another war by the time um, Prussians and we're not at war with anyone, we will be in a really strong position because we'll be able to pick an enemy line up our forces against their borders and then just drive just drive straight at them drive down italy but well, to be honest cleaning up the italian peninsula will be one of the first things i'll want to do ah they heard me but that's good they're combining their their armies which makes them easier to smash when they're all together it's always when they have fragments around that things start to get a bit spooky because it's difficult to uh, to keep track of them all. But when they do what they've done now, they combine them all, that's good. Ooh, do I want to make you attack? I think I do, because you're pretty dilapidated. And you, you do have, oh, these are three pounders. Heavy horse guard artillery. 24 pounder howard says this is going to be fun. <laughs> um, a sort of attrition. So... I definitely want to take advantage of them being on the offensive and coming towards me. Um, so I'm definitely going to want to hunker back, use my superior artillery and superior, pretty much, infantry. Uh, well, they're not superior infantry, but they seem to do usually pretty well. So we've got a little bit of a hill. So let's put my two, but I've only got two, a regular one regular foot artillery unit. Let's just deploy five units on one flank. Five units will deploy out somewhere on this flank. Deploying quick line, deploying quick line. I might potentially do this. Hold fire there. Let's put my long rifleman in the trees. Let's put a lancer guard on each flank. Well, to be honest, I might want to keep them more central, really, just to respond if they charge my lines. General in the centre. Good. Deploy stakes. Okay, so one of them is... Okay, you do round shot, because I want you to... I want to hit them as well. So they're deploying... They are deploying stakes, because they will fire quick climb at me. Although I might... Start bringing one of my cavalry units round to do some, to try to do some sniping prep. Oh, moly! I left a you know line infantry guards in the lurch.
No, they, they're not within range of shrapnel shot, sadly. You guys should be able to wreck them up on that hill. Okay, so let's use my actual actual howitzers firing quick line to pick at their infantry as is. Let's bring my artillery, my, my cavalry out to the flank. And let's Oh wow, that did not go well for them. So they are keeping some the Smiths Mountain Jaegers and the general. Yeah, they got lanced. Shrapnel shot. Canister shot. Oh yeah, get up there and have Adam. They've got a unit of Jaegers and that's... Ooh, so they've deployed stakes out there, so good awareness here. No, my foot guards are wavering. Oh, it's unit of crossiers. Hit that unit, that could be beautiful. So there's my general, so let's scoot my general around, start to intercept some of these. So they got a Republican Guard unit that's winning and doing quite handsomely. Gonna destroy this unit of cuirassiers. If you can make them route, then they'll all then they'll all just flop and die. Two, one. Good. Let's spread my troops out. Where's my general? Take him, use him, use him to take out the lifeguard. Oh, a regiment of grenadier guards. Have them. So he doesn't even bother going for the general. It's just not valuable. Let's 
halt, fire on my artillery. Okay, now let's halt my howitzers as well, because that can't go well <laughs> with my... Grinzer's, Grinzer's line infantry guards. Chased on the ground here, guard unit is almost dead. Lifeguard unit doesn't have long in it. Oh, come on, one guy. Skewer him. Good. Hit this Swiss mountain. Uh, no, hit the lifeguards. four left of the lifeguards. Swiss Mountain Jaegers, Foot Grinzers, Line Infantry. Come on, take him out. Then go on to the fourth unit of foot. Go on, blast a volley into that general's bodyguard. Definitely continue, but let's halt fire on all of my artillery. So, what are you? Swiss Mountain Jaegers, Grenzers, Footline, General's Bodyguard. To be honest, you're all pretty knackered. I think there's a possibility we could really clean up. So, let's bring you over here to start chipping away at these chaps. Okay, you go after them. Turn up. Be wary of that unit of thing of spikes. Good, good amount of slaughter. Straight on to that unit of light infantry or foot line infantry. Oh yes, two units of guards. That's a unit picked off. So be very careful now. Okay, so run around here and head them off. Superior line infantry, not so superior. And then the final unit on the map. Ten, eight, seven. You can try to run. Six, five. Done. Oh, that is beautiful. And then annihilated numerous units on the break. Six hundred sixty-three, but yeah, 
the main thing is that stack is gone. It's just a troop fragment now, which is lovely. Oh, God alive. This is like another one, except it's another... Oh, what's my phone going on? God, that's all right. Bang them. Yep, this will be the same sort of thing. Let's sweep up the the rags, send any cavalry I've got around the flanks to knock out their artillery at the back and then not chase them down with, well, depends on how much um, can let them sit there a few people do not have much cavalry but I have buckets of artillery so I do not like their odds these aren't just any old artillery these are horse guard artillery Heavy horse artillery. Well, apart from these broken units. I should even them out, but I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. It's just a zoop. Let's deploy them here, ready to defend the guns, I suppose. Have them here. How it's deployed, quick climb, go. Good God, that's all they've got. They are going to get chewed up. General's already dead. <laughs> oh, God alive. I think I might, might even triple speed this one because the first few volleys of artillery are just going to be utterly. Oh, quick line! Eh. That's a unit of heavy artillery already routed. Here comes quick line. So the rockets are coming in. Yeah, they're running because they don't spend well they can't afford to spend much time Let's send my general around Deployed stakes the wrong way. But yeah, I think I just, just go to work with my cavalry. Because they're all going to break in any minute now. So I may as well just... So let's do this and this. You all shoot at them. It's that rocket troop. There you go. Chase after. It's the wrong way, but that's a good infantry unit, so I want to see them gone. Oh, wow. Was that my own... That was my own guns. I forgot to... Uh, forgot to turn them off. So, yeah, just continue. Just let my general run around, killing everything he can get his hands on. Good artillery. It's probably a good shout. The rest of the infantry are going to make it. Um, but their artillery won't. Just miss the spikes. Oh, that's the artillery there. Yeah, let's go for the guns. It's always good to destroy a set of guns. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Chop, choppity chop. <laughs> Just ran past him at that point. Sweet. So that is a very, very good win for us again. 
Another stack destroyed, turned into fragments. Raid away, my friends. Raid away. There is not a thing you can do to stop this American thing rolling on. Hmm. I think what I'd like to do, though, is finish off Europe before I move on to India, because I want to effectively land an army against every coastal city in the first turn. <laughs> Just capture the entire coast in... What is it? It's four turns a, four turns a year? So to capture the entire coast in three months? <laughs> no. I'm going to pay you 20 grand to trade with you. Have you seen how much money I've got? Like, there is no reason for me to for me to pay to trade with you none at all and Russia's going to be in for a mis in for a surprise we may end up destroying them I think I'd send three stacks north to go through Scandinavia. Three stacks north to go through Scandinavia and then probably obviously a bunch east but then probably a good chunk of them south to go ahead and secure um, the Italian peninsula or now the Spanish peninsula pretty much. up and secure Norway. They're currently independent and I doubt I'd get into much trouble. Oh god, who's that? This rebel. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Okay. The fishing port will help. So let's take this Protestant chap and drop him in Lisbon. Let's start trying to convert the Iberian Peninsula. Yep, yeah, they've raided away but eventually they will drift too close they will drift too close to my armies, and then that will be the end of them. Might actually move them up here, just in case they think of anything sneaky, like running up and using this road to capture Amsterdam. Everyone's still replenishing. What's happened there? My screen just went black. Oh, no, it's back. Nope. Everyone's replenishing, so let's... First, let's check out my spending money to make money. Settlement, church, school in Austria. Good. So what's my army like? Yeah, it's a pretty good, pretty good army to defend against something like that. What I might be tempted to do is do this. Oh, you're pretty. You're a bit knackered, actually. Let's move you down here. Anything more? And fall you back to here. Just so we're ready, because they're definitely going to go for Baghdad, and then I can move you up to hold the northern front. Good. Um, so Serbia's getting infrastructure. God, there's, there's just lots of, so much American investment in this region. Yeah, why not? Build happiness buildings. Probably don't even really need them, but I'll take them. The oh yeah, I want you to run up to Serbia. Fleet arrives. This fleet was to head off the Marathon offensive fleet but I don't know where it's gone but if I were a betting man I'd say the Americas and 
Enemy raid, enemy raid. It's my Berlin garrison. Sir, your orders? So that's to you. Lead siege to Dresden and get you inside Berlin. This could be a job for you, actually. You can secure. Sir, onward. Ready for orders. See, why is everyone just stopped? Yes, sir. Sir. Orders. Make ready. Two guns. Two guns. Well, I don't need that many guns. So you're getting four units of artillery. Why don't you go up there, join them up there. Take this sloop up here. So let's check who Norway is at war with. Protectorate of Sweden. Well, if I fight them, I'm fighting Sweden. But Sweden only has one region themselves anyway. And who is Sweden at war with? Allied with Poland and the Ottomans. Ah, so if I take Norway, then I'm at war down here again with the Ottomans. No, let's not do that yet. Yes, you... Pfft. I'll take a free... a free Munich. You don't have university, do you? Yes, you do. Down you go. Punish, punish, punish. Build, build, build. Hell, this army may as well... Not back this little stack. Forward. Proud and victorious. Men. Forward. Make sure you finish them off so they don't create a pain don't become a pain in the ass. Replenish here for a couple of turns, then lay siege to Prague. Then ultimately could Oh they've got Breslau. Yes. Let's let them keep going. Let's recruit some line infantry garrison. Obviously, Vienna really doesn't like that. But they'll get over it in a minute. And to be honest, I could probably move my Grenadier Guards into Vienna. That'd probably help a bit. Yeah, it's knocked it down by two. Let's keep you replenishing. Because when we go to war with the Ottomans, I want you to strike east. Okay, Moldavia. So this region here is the Galician Rebels. Um, but I'd like a combined force to go up here, push the push the Austrians, the Ottomans back, and probably fight an almighty battle here against all of these dribs and drabs and secure Istanbul. The Royal Mameluke Guards, 24 Pounder Howitzers, Sebkan Janissaries, Nizam one Sedid Infantry, Sedid Infantry. So this, yeah, this army I want to move over and if possible build a fort and upgrade it then probably build some troops here as a bit of a garrison it's my church school religious building palatial estate Infrastructure, good. So much growth for you on the horizon. Hmm, not Crimea. Could capture. See, I put a halt on recruitment because my money situation wasn't so great. But if I recruit 10, in, 10 infantry, join them up with this army, it's already being built could sail them up and secure Crimea, which might be a plan. So Bavaria is captured for free because they kind of let me have it. But yeah, ultimately Prussia is about to uh, about to have some awkward questions asked of it. So because every one of their cities, well almost all of them, this army will move on to take Breslau and then a number of armies will move on and pressure at Gdansk, which is making crazy amounts of money, but it's <laughs> it's tax-free because the university, the clamour for reform is so high. 
So it's really not gone, gone to plan for them. Uh, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the, the few Prussian battles we've had. And I will see you in the next part of my campaign to wipe Europe clean of German influence. Right here, guys. See you in the next part.